Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and in this video I want to kind of really show you an example of light functions and how you can kind of tinker with it to make or get a result that you want out of your lights. So here I just have a normal spotlight, nothing really fancy done to it, and what I want is to kind of give the impression of a flashlight. So, well, more traditional flashlight. So I want to have more of a solid beam in the center with a noticeable fall off that transitions kind of like from a harsher edge to the softer outer edge that looks like, well, basically kind of what it looks like out in here. So as you can see, even though I have an inner cone radius, it doesn't really give me that effect that I'm looking for unless I crank it up, in which case, you know, we're left with this. And if I increase the outer cone angle, it's just that you don't have that control to really dictate of a harsher edge around the outside, unless you go like to where it's very close, in which case you start to get it. So. That's what we want to create through a material. So if we scroll down here from the light, you can see we have a light function material. So let's go ahead and create that really quick. So let's add a new material, M underscore, I'll just call it flashlight function. All right, first thing we want to do, change the domain type to light function. And we want to give the impression of a sphere. So if I click and make this a square, this will give us a good kind of impression of what it's going to look like. What we want to do is we want to draw basically a sphere in the center and then another big one around the outside and those overlaid on top of each other will kind of give us that effect well at least that i'm going for so anywhere that there's black there's going to be no light so if i set this to the flashlight function there you can see there is no light so let's go ahead and add a radial if i can spell it radial gradient exponential and if i just plug it in it kind of already has the shape and everything that we're going for. So this would be like what our outer ring is supposed to look like. So you can see now we're back to roughly what we had before. So let's go ahead and try to set up the inner ring first. So we can do that by changing the density. So let's go ahead and just add a constant. You can do that by holding one and then left clicking. And let's give it a value of something small like 0.25. So we just have that little guy in the center. If we look at it now, you can see we now have a much smaller circle. I'm actually kind of curious, does this affect that too? No, it doesn't. So from here, we can tweak other things. So let's go ahead and look at what the density does. So if I plug that into zero, we have nothing. If I plug that into one, we have it harsher. If I do 0.5, we have it softer. So it's kind of like how it blends from the outside. So it's softer and then gets harder to the inside. So that's roughly where we want to try to tinker with it and find a good result. So I want to set that back to one. And now we're going to make the outer sphere. So I'm going to copy this, paste it in. And how do we blend these two together? To get them to really overlay, we can use a linear interpolation. So linear interpolate, plug A into B, and the output into the color. And our alpha is by default at 0.5. That should be OK. Now we just want to create the radius up of our second one. This can be our outer sphere, 2.5. So that way it fills it. So you can kind of see we're getting a little bit of hardness around the middle, and then it's softer around the outside. So in this case, I want to leave it at 1 for the density on the outside, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess density can be of different values, maybe. 10? No, oh, I did not know that. That's actually good to know. But if I change it to 10 and I leave it here, you can see we have a harsh circle around the inside. But then it's very soft around the outside. So we can, it's kind of hard to make the look of it like visually when we do this. But if I change this value to 1 for the radius on the outside to where it fills it, it does actually expand the light a little bit. So it's just kind of up to you. But really we want to take the circle. I almost want to, let's start by just tinkering with the density. So let's bump this down to 5. Now let's do 2. And just see what that looks like. Oops. Right, that has a little bit of a better edge to it. I'm going to test it really quickly in the flashlight. If I can find it. So flashlight function. And see what it looks like. Okay, we can kind of see the effect. However, it's very subtle. So this is the effect right here that I don't quite like. So you can see how basically the throw from all the way on the left and right side is almost the same. 
it just has a soft taper as you get closer to the edge. But everywhere in the center, it just it looks the same. I don't like that. So I'm going to bump this up back again to 5. I might need to over-exaggerate it in here a bit. But you can see now we have a harsher edge. And we also have that effect shown here. So this is kind of getting into the area of something more that I'd like. I just want to decrease the size of it a bit. So we'll do something like 0.1. All right, now we'll do 0.2. And then I'll also probably give the impression of a harsher edge. And that's something that I personally like a little bit better. So I still have a pretty wide angle on it, but I at least have the kind of the impression of a harsh throw and then a softer blend to the outside. So once we have that, what you can do to kind of tinker more or less with the outside is tinker with the density as well. So if I set the density back to one, you can see now it's very harsh and it has a very soft blend. So I'm kind of liking this a little bit better. I want to shrink the inside a tiny bit more. So I do 0.15. And I want to increase the outside a tiny bit, so I'm going to do 1.5. And that's almost a little too small on the inside. But I'm liking the outside a little bit more. But anyways, that's just kind of like the general gist of ways that you can go through and you can kind of tinker with your light a bit. So you can change things like its shape and all that kind of stuff. And you can do the same thing if you have masks. So if you wanted like some weird effect, uh, let me actually find a texture really quick for this. Alrighty, so I found my little alpha guy here. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a texture sample. That is not it. Then, oh, it's already selected. What we can do is we can use this to kind of drive it. So because it's basically translucent, this should kind of plug right in. Not the cleanest looking thing, but... You can see here we have our light. So this is now my flashlight. It is, the, <laughs> is really weird looking, but it's basically my texture. So you can design to kind of have your effect look however you want in another piece of software such as Photoshop, GIMP, and all that kind of stuff. You just got to make it look however you wish, use a square texture, and go from there. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. This is more or less just kind of a, an example, but hopefully this kind of gets you moving forwards and allows you to make some cool stuff. So I'll see you in the next video.